Good morning everyone. Well, another new day and I am pleased to say my bedroom's nice and cool. I've got all the blinds drawn and there's just a tiny bit of sunlight coming in. But thanks to that and my little air cooling cube at the side of me it's lovely in here at the minute and what helps is a yummy nice clean comfortable bed there is nothing finer in this world so we've put the um or i should say casey has put the lovely green doggy bedding on. I'll try and show you on this pillow. There's some doggies. Oops. See? There are all sorts of doggies on there. Look, there's an even a golden colour one sitting at the top so it's super comfortable in here this morning but i have to get up oh if i didn't i wouldn't does that make any sense i'm just being me again and i'm blabbling Anyway, I would just like to say something and I mean it so sincerely and I'm sending all of you so much love and thanks that you care enough to share things with me. You care enough to watch my vlogs and the lovely supportive comments mean the world to know that you're all there it really really does so with that said it's the start of another sunny day it's thursday so I better start getting myself up and ready and get on with things. Oh, I've got some tomato plants to uh, get in today. My brother-in-law brought them and they were in um, need of some TLC. So I think he's seeing if I can give him some TLC. But he is an amazing gardener. He has an allotment. But I will need to go out and get some tomato food because I don't have any. So I'm hoping to do that. And possibly some other things. Anyway, I'm sure we'll see together. I'll see you when I'm looking a little bit more presentable. <laughs> well, I'm just finished doing my meds and I've heard my dogs going absolutely barmy. And they're happy, yappy sounds and Casey telling him to hold on, he's coming, he's coming. So I would just like to show you who's in my garden now. Yes, one of our Monty's most favourite people in the world is up the garden working hard in the sea. Are you all right, Ash? I'll get the floor. It can't be too hot because I'm... Because I work with a fat lad in this weather. Yeah, I'm not a fat lad. Casey and Ash certainly had a good chat. I think we were chatting about Casey's Ninja Grill and other things. And then 
I had a bit of a chat too. So that was lovely. We were just missing Emma. But I suppose you can't have it all. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go in and I am going to cook the tea. So it's ready when the kids want it today. Just thought I'd do it. It's uh, quite a while since I've felt like I've had the energy to cook. But it will be a super easy, no washing up really, sort of tea. So anyway, I'm going to vlog it. We'll see what turns out like. Oh, and while I'm on my way in, to do that, I've got a phone call due soon. Probably happen when I'm in the middle of cooking tea, dinner, supper, whatever you call it. I uh, have a telephone call from the hospital. It's the urology sister who is ringing me. Um, uh, but I'll let you know how that turns out. And also, I'll explain more about all that in another vlog. just realised the night I've got out the same sort of colour as the top I've had on today but honestly it's not my top um well first thing I'm going to tell you about is yeah that phone call I had from uh the urology sister um up at the hospital which I was scheduled an appointment with her on the phone 
but basically a review and a check-in to make sure I'm all right. Anyway, um, I've got to go for a scan, just an ultrasound on my kidneys to make sure things are okay because I've been uh, having a few problems, shall we say. But I will tell you more about my urology story that's been going on for years. And I know there's a lot of questions about drinking, eating orally, etc. from my last um, vlog. So I will address those as well at some point. But I do have to say for now, I am utterly shattered. I don't know what come over me. Well, I do, because it happens sometimes. It's just like a wave of tired. It's not even tired. Uh, people on here will be able to relate. It is proper fatigue. So I am going to get some sleep. And tomorrow... I'm supposed to be at the hospice for a lymphedema appointment. And I normally go to a craft group there on a Friday, but I'll just see how I am tomorrow. But tomorrow is another day and I hope that I will open my eyes and I will feel a ton of better than I do right now. In fact, I know I will because I'll go to sleep and I will tell myself I will. So hopefully it works and I hope you've all had a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is in your part of the world. And I will see you all in the next vlog. So then, my lovely people, bye-bye. Take care, stay safe. Bye.